Today we'll be covering lesson 3-7 on formulas. And with formulas, we'll actually be solving for a given variable in the formula. So in 3.7, um, right, we've got given the formula, solve for t, which is time, in d equals rt. And this is the formula distance equals rate times time. So what we're doing is to solve for t, right, we've got identified, here it is, where is it? And then what is going on? This is d equals r times t, r t, they're multiplying. So we're going to do the opposite of whatever is going on, right? Inverse operation is going to be division. And we're moving the r away. So we want t to stay there, right? r divided by r will give us 1, right? So this will cancel. And we'll get t equals d divided by r. So in the distance equals rate times time formula, Time equals distance divided by rate. The next formula. Given the formula, solve for the h, which is height, in area equals half base times height. Right, so again, circle or um, some sort of identifying over it. And what's going on, right? With half times base times height, we've got two things going on. Um, so we're going to have two operations now. We're going to multiply this whole thing by 2 on both sides to get rid of the half, right? 2 halves is whole. And so times 2 on both sides, and we get 2a equals, we still have b for base, we still have height. And again, we're still solving for height. So circling it again, what else is left over? Base times height. So we're going to divide both sides by base to get height equals 2 times the area divided by the base. 2a divided by b. Next, given the formula i equals e over r. Solve for e. So again, we've got e. Where is it? Circle it. And then what is going on? This is e divided by r. So then we're going to do the opposite of divided by r, which is times r on both sides. So we're going to get e equals r times i or i times r. Order doesn't matter there. And that is our answer. E equals R times I. Next one, given the formula, solve for L, which is length, where perimeter equals two length plus two width. Um, capitalize them so we can kind of see which one's L and W. And again, we're solving right here. So this one's a couple more steps. And again, if you ever get stuck, remember that since we're solving for variables, we kind of have PEMDAS here. And we're working backwards PEMDAS. So we're going to need to add or subtract away from 2L. So in this case, 2L plus 2W, we're going to subtract 2W from both sides because we want to solve for L. This will leave us with P minus 2W equals 2L. And then again, what is going on? We're solving for L, and L is being multiplied by 2 here. So the opposite of multiplied by 2 is divide by 2 on both sides. And our final answer will be L equals P minus 2W all divided by 2. And that's how we're going to leave it. Do not try to simplify. This is our final answer. Solve for A equals LW for L. We're going to be L, L times W, or the timing, so we're going to divide. And length equals A divided by W. Next, now we have a second part. We use that above to solve for L when A is 35 feet squared and W is 5. So now we have values here. Right? We're using this formula up here. We've got A is 35W right there. We color code in here, and W is 5. And so right there. So we're going to plug it in. L equals 35 over 5. And you know, we technically have labels here. Um, but in general, L for length will be in feet. Right? So 35 divided by 5 makes 7. And then one of these feet cancels. We get L equals 7 feet. So we have feet times feet in the top and only one feet in the denominator. One of each cancels, and that is where that is. Next, let's start with stick one. 
a little bit tougher one given the temperature conversion formula, right? Fahrenheit and Celsius. Solve for C. So Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths Celsius plus 32, right? How are we going to solve, right? So we're solving for C. And again, because there's a couple steps here, I recommend you write out PEMDAS. Because we're going to work up. So we've got to add or subtract first. And so we've got 9 fifths C plus 32. We're going to do the opposite of plus 32. We're going to subtract 32 from both sides. So I get F minus 32 equals 9 fifths C. Next, we're going to multiply or divide as we go left to right here, right? Each one, either one works. Now, 9 fifths is like having 1 and 4 fifths C. So we can either divide by 9 fifths on both sides, or we can treat this as two steps, like we did when we had an earlier problem, um, area equals half base times height, right? So 9 to t c equals f minus 32. And then what we'll do on this side is, since we have a double fraction kind of going on over here, it doesn't quite seem simplified. So we're going to do it one step at a time. We're going to multiply by 5 on both sides, because that's the opposite of divide by 5. We get 9c equals 5 and f minus 32. And then we have 9f, so now we just want 1f. So we're going to divide by 9 on both sides. And we get c equals 5, f minus 32 over 9. And so this multiply divide was technically two steps. In that is that. Next is one will probably require a calculator from you, but it says find out how many Celsius is for Fahrenheit where it's 98.6, right? So standard body temperature of a human should be 98.6 degrees. So what would that be in Celsius? What is that? Is that so Celsius equals 5 over 9, and now we're going to put 98.6 where that F is. Minus 32. And then plugging that into our calculator, your calculator will follow up and not. You get 66.6 here, times 5, 30, 333, divided by 9. And this gives us exactly 37. And again, because we're talking Celsius, this is what C equals. So 37 degrees is our body temperature in Celsius. We have one more example like this. Given the formula, solve for B base and area equals half base times height. Again, very similar to a form, uh, previous one we did right here, where we solve for height. All right. So we're going back, solving for base. Right. We've got to deal with the half and h. Right. The opposite of times half is divided by half, or we can think about this also as B times H over 2, right? The opposite of times half is times 2, right? So we're going to times 2 on both sides. We get 2A equals, and now the bottom 2 will cancel. BH, and again, we're still solving for B here. And so B times H, we want that B to stay put. So divide by h on both sides, and we get b equals 2 times a divided by h. Next, find what the b equals when a is 22 and h is 4. So b equals 2 times now 22 for a, and h is 4, and then simplify. 2 times 22 is 44. 4 is still in there. 44 divided by 4 is 11. So 11 equals b. Homework for tomorrow will be these problems for 3-7, 9-16, 18-23.